And now, please stand and keep the aisles clear and welcome the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences graduating class of 2019.
please be seated. Good afternoon. Let's try that one more time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, that's great. Uh, my name is Carl Feeblecorn. I'm Senior Associate Dean for Student Professional and Community Affairs here at the school. We welcome you to the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences 173rd Divisional Commencement. Professor Robert Militich, Mace Bearer, Chair Elect of the Faculty Senate and Professor of Nuclear Medicine and Neurology will officially open the ceremony. Professor Militich. Thank you, Provost Zukowski, and the entire platform party. The graduates, the candidates for degrees, the faculty, the staff, and the parents, families, and friends of the graduates and candidates are now assembled. I hereby declare this commencement of the University at Buffalo to be open. Now, if you are able, please stand for our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I am pleased to introduce today's platform pro party, Provost Charles Zukowski, Dr. Michael Kane, Vice President of Health Sciences, Dean James O'Donnell, honored guests and speakers, assistant deans and associate deans, and faculty and staff. It is now my pleasure to introduce Provost Charles Zukowski to deliver his remarks. Good evening. This is a wonderful day. I want to welcome you and thank you all for joining us today to celebrate these graduates' accomplishments. I'm thrilled to be here today with you, the graduates, with your family, your friends, and the university community to celebrate your exceptional achievements to date and eagerly anticipate all that you will accomplish in the future. Note the expectation in that. As one of the nation's leading public research universities, UB has a mission of creating new knowledge and communicating this knowledge to you, our students. We take seriously our responsibility to improve the human condition through our scholarship, our clinical practice, our patient care, and through our community engagement. Graduates, you have earned a degree that certifies that UB believes you are prepared to be professionals, leaders, researchers, and engaged citizens. 
At UB, you have been partners in the process of seeking and using knowledge to build a better world. You have learned from the most respected leaders and practitioners in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences who have designed your degree programs to prepare you for future success. You have developed deep domain knowledge in drug discovery, drug delivery, and medical, medication treatment and put this knowledge into practice in communities around the world, in labs, and through experiential training opportunities. You have provided medication management support and improved health outcomes for our local and international communities. You have participated in medical simulations and interprofessional education as an essential element of the healthcare team. You have taken advantage of the cutting-edge research opportunities offered by our top-ranked School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. You have worked hard. You have gained exposure to ideas, culture, history, science, and technologies, and had meaningful interactions with your peers and your professors. These are the experiences that shape your unique perspective and a way of approaching the world. It is this distinctive combination of classroom, team building, and experiential and clinical learning that enable you to develop the creativity, empathy, and leadership skills needed to succeed as professionals, researchers, and leaders advancing healthcare through progressive medication management and drug discovery and delivery. With societal shifts towards preventive and personalized medicine and new challenges emerging as people live longer and differently than in previous generations, this is an exciting and important time to be emerging as professionals in the health care field. In the future, pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists will play an enhanced role in keeping us all healthy through treatment and education. This will be true whether you work at a small neighborhood drugstore, large corporate pharmacy, hospital, or in research and development. Wherever your future takes you, you will experience changes that will redefine professional roles and lead to unforeseeable opportunities. Your UB education has prepared you to be, to be flexible and responsive to shifting trends and needs, meet challenges head on, be lifelong learners, and to take advantages of the opportunities that come your way. These attributes, these are the attributes that will assure your success into the future. My sincere and heartfelt congratulations for our 2019 University at Buffalo School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences graduates. We are so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce James O'Donnell, Dean of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences for his remarks. Good afternoon. It's a great day to be at UB. We have our graduates, their family and friends, our faculty and staff, all here to celebrate the culmination of years of study and hard work. It's fitting at this point to reflect on your accomplishments. In addition to becoming proficient in the pharmaceutical sciences and pharmacy practice, you've contributed the, to the school and the community in many other ways. You have helped guide those who are following you through your leadership and peer mentoring. You have been active in research and community outreach, and you have been involved in organizations that are helping to advance the science and practice of pharmacy. Because of you, we are a better school, university, and community. During your time here, you have learned much about the pharmaceutical sciences and the practice of pharmacy. You also have learned how to keep building on your knowledge and skills so that you will be prepared for upcoming challenges, whether they be in employment or for further education and training. I'm confident that you'll do well and represent us well as UB graduates. Today, I have the honor of introducing our commencement speaker, Dr. John Pieper, who is president of St. Louis College of Pharmacy. Prior to his appointment in 2010, Dr. Pieper served as Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Vice President for Research 
at the University of New Mexico. Dr. Pieper received a bachelor's degree in molecular biology from the University of Colorado and a bachelor's degree in pharmacy from the University of Wyoming. He then received the doctor of pharmacy degree from the University at Buffalo, where he also completed postdoctoral fellowship training. Dr. Pieper has served as president of the American College of Clinical Pharmacy, honorary president of the Missouri Pharmacy Association, and speaker of the House of Delegates of the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy. He also was recognized by the American Pharmacists Association Academy of Student Pharmacists as the Outstanding Pharmacy Dean in the United States in 2006. In 2015, he served as Chair of the Board of Pharmacy Specialties and in 2017 was elected President of the Academic Pharmacy Section of the International Pharmaceutical Federation. He is a Fellow of the American College of Clinical Pharmacy and the American Pharm Pharmacists Association. In 2018, Dr. Pieper was named a distinguished alumnus of the University of Wyoming. In addition to being an outstanding academic leader, Dr. Pieper is also an accomplished scientist and faculty member with over 100 publications in the area of cardiovascular pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and pharmacogenomics. Please join me in welcoming one of our own back to the University at Buffalo, President John Pieper. Wow. It is an honor and a privilege to be back at my alma mater as the commencement speaker for the UB School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences class of 2019. And let me be probably not the first or the last, but I would like to congratulate the graduates of the class of 2019. This class will hold a special place in my heart because 40 years ago this week at Kleinhans Music Hall in downtown Buffalo, I received my Doctor of Pharmacy degree. I have so many wonderful friends and memories of my years here as a student and postdoctoral fellow. Many faculty members, some of them are on the stage behind me, staff, former students, and alumni from UB are lifelong friends. My years here at the School of Pharmacy were transformative in developing me as a person, a clinician, a clinical scientist, and an academician. The faculty here instilled in me the ability and the confidence to take risks, the ability and confidence to know that I could accomplish whatever I set my heart on. So what brief words can I share with you today as I come back after 40 years? Early in my career here, I slowly came to understand that the best path for success for me, and believe me, when I was here 40 years ago, I wasn't sure there was going to be any success for me. But the path I knew that I had to follow was to identify and get to know faculty members who were leaders and were willing to mentor me. And I had to listen and learn from them. And listening and learning from mentors is a skill that I have used consistently for 40 years. As Dean O'Donnell mentioned, I've served in various academic and professional positions over the last 40 years since I left Buffalo. From a student here and a postdoctoral fellow to a young assistant professor associate professor and professor, department chair dean, and now president of a college. During this long journey, I've come to believe that the most important quality for great mentors, for great educators, for great clinicians, and for great scientists is creativity. Creatively thinking outside the box is the most important criteria. And creativity flourished here at UB School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences when I was a student. My ideas about the critical nature of creativity have come into focus 
with the publication recently of a book called Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World by Adam Grant. In this book, he explores what is an original. An original is a person who is independent and creative in thought or action, a person of fresh initiative or inventive capacity. Originality, uh, originality starts with creativity. And as the profession of pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences continues to evolve, you new graduates will need to be creative as you navigate and lead this change. And that's true of our bachelor's graduates today, master's graduates, doctor of pharmacy graduates, and PhD graduates. My words then to you are, be an original. Let me say that again because I want you to hear me say this. Be an original. You may say, what is an original? I'm going to give you a few characteristics. Originals are quick to start projects, but slow to finish tasks so that they have time to reflect. That is to say, they strategically procrastinate, which is a skill most of us already know. Uh, they embrace the fear of failing to try. Not the fear of failing, but they embrace the fear of failing to try something new. They generate a lot of bad ideas to get a few good ones. Originals question assumptions. They question pilot data. They vigorously test hypotheses and extensively analyze results. Originals immerse themselves in a new area from time to time, which gives them a fresh perspective, a new research initiative, a new clinical practice initiative, traveling to foreign countries, attending professional or scientific meetings, and interacting with people from different cultures. Originals welcome and accept criticism, and lastly, originals promote and lead change. These are the lessons that I first observed here as a student at Buffalo, and I'm proud of those lessons that I've learned, and I've tried to continue to learn and grow in this area over the last 40 years. The exploration of who you are to dream who you might become, and then to develop a path to achieve your dream is the whole purpose of your education here at UB. You are, at your core, an original. So congratulations to the class of 2019 from a member of the class of 1979. I'm honored to recognize each of you as fellow alumni. I look forward to hearing of your great accomplishments and your successful paths as originals. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Renee Rizzo Fleming, class of 1983, UB Alumni Association board member for her remarks. Thank you, Carl. I am so excited and honored to be able to share this special day with the class of 2019. No doubt, one of the most important days of your lives. There is electricity in the air as I walk down the aisle because in just a few hours, we will be welcoming 167 new graduates to the ranks of UB alumni. A few weeks back when I started to think about what I could say to you that would be meaningful as you set out to tackle new challenges in the days, months, and years ahead, I thought, who better to ask than recent grads what the message should be to this year's class? The message from the recent grads was simple but emphatic. Make sure you tell them to stay connected to UB after graduation. While this might not be the first thing on the top of your very long to-do list, you might want to consider moving it up a few notches, and here's three reasons why. Number one, you will want to draw upon the professional resources that are available to you as a recent grad to help you succeed in achieving your future goals. As recent grads, you are encouraged to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with a career coach in career services. I know you probably all heard about this before, but it's always good to remind you today 
of things that you should be probably doing in the weeks ahead. The services offered will help you in being the very best you can be as you enter the job world. What better way to hone your interviewing skills? You have a resume, cover letter, and LinkedIn profiles critiqued, and have an expert by your side to help coach you through the job search. Number two, staying connected will give you an opportunity to broaden your network of friends and professional colleagues. One way you can immediately connect one-on-one -on -one with UB alum to get career advice and mentoring is to create a profile on the Career Connector Network platform. Hundreds of UB alum located all around the world are waiting to help you. If you're looking to have some fun while you're networking, I would suggest that you join the Young Alumni Leadership Council, also affectionately known as YELK. YELK activities coming up in the next month include a welcome party for all of the graduates from 2019, that's this coming Thursday. There's also UB Night with the Bisons, and it just happens to be Game of Thrones night. Anybody, be, anybody know Game of Thrones? So that'll be on Saturday, June 22nd, in case you're still in town. And another thing I wanted to point out is UB Alumni Day of Service is Saturday, June 1st, where service projects will be held not only in Buffalo, but in many cities around the world, including New York City, Beijing, Bangalore, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Hong Kong, and Singapore. So even if you're not staying in the Western New York area, there are still ways for you to stay connected and expand your professional network. Number three, give back by becoming the next generation of mentors and preceptors. Next year, there will be nearly 600 students working towards various degrees at the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. As you enter the workforce, it will be your turn to have an impact on future students by mentoring and precepting, sharing employment experiences with current students, and offering career path advice. In closing, tomorrow you will join the ranks of 268,000 UB alumni located in over 150 countries around the world. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? Take pride in being a part of this vast network of UB alumni. Remember, staying connected to UB will not only benefit you personally and professionally, but it will give you the opportunity to connect with the students of the future and make an impact on their career paths as well. On behalf of the UB Alumni Association, I want to be the first to welcome you to the ranks of the UB alumni. Thank you all, and good luck in your future endeavors. I will now ask Richard Moore, class president, to come forward for his remarks. Graduates, I'm humbled to stand before you today. I'd like to start by thanking our families, friends, and mentors, many of whom are here today, who have helped each and every one of us immensely over the past four years. I believe that I can speak for all of us when I say we would not be where we stand today without your guidance and support along this journey. And what a journey it has been. When I stop to reflect on these past four years, I'm amazed by how much the experience has changed us. After being accepted into the University at Buffalo School of Pharmacy, we entered the halls of Kapoor, eager to embark on our career paths and thinking that we're ready to take on the world. Fast forward two weeks into the first semester when P1 year hit us like a ton of bricks. Late night studying for pharmacology became so mundane that coffee did not just become a basic part of our diet, but an essential one. So vital that the majority of us were on a first name basis with Chris, the manager of Tim Hortons here. We could quickly adapted to the eternal exhaustion by rewatching lectures on two times speed 
and coped with the stress by partaking the occasional Wine Wednesday every seven days. But through all the hardships, we became much more than just peers chasing after a common degree. We became a support system for one another, relying on each other extensively in order to be successful. Whether that was a post in the Facebook group to find out if any assignments were due, or lending a shoulder to cry on after seeing a grade pop up the instant you submit an exam, we were there for one another. This unparalleled bond led to new friendships as well as relationships for years to come. As we continued to persevere through the rigorous course load of pharmacy school, staying committed to this marathon and our goals, we began to grow, not only in our clinical knowledge, but also professionally and personally as well. See, pharmacy school did not just teach me how to pharmacologically manage patient-specific disease states, how to turn off the antivirus on my laptop so I don't get Doc 10% on an exam, or of course, that diabetes hammers the kidney. I also learned how to manage my time efficiently, communicate with diverse patient populations, and contribute as an integral part of an interdisciplinary team. As pharmacy school progressed, we learned how to problem solve at an extraordinarily high level and acclimate to an ever-changing world of healthcare. As many of you know, pharmacists have an essential role in enhancing patient safety and improving outcomes. The faculty here at the University of Buffalo have given us the tools to go out and leave a tremendous impact on the world and our profession. I'm honored to be graduating alongside my fellow peers who have already contributed in great lengths, not only here in our community, but all over the globe, including Haiti, Belize, Zimbabwe, and Taiwan, just to name a few. And this is only the beginning. Graduates, with our commitment to excellence, we have successfully graduated from one of the top pharmacy schools in the nation. Though many of us began pharmacy school without a clear indication of where we would be practicing by the end of this journey, the University at Buffalo has made us aware of our passions and skills and oriented us to an appropriate future direction. We are now suitably equipped to tackle the challenges that lie ahead. I encourage each of us to take the knowledge and skills this university has bestowed upon us and make our world a better place. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunities UB has provided me, the friendships I've made, and the memories I will carry. I have high expectations for the class of 2019 because I know what we are capable of and I'm beyond excited to see what each and every one of you will accomplish in the years to come. Graduates, congratulations on your accomplishments. Good luck on your future endeavors. And as always, go Bulls. Each year during the commencement ceremony, the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences recognizes those who have distinguished themselves in scholarship and leadership ability. Dr. William Prescott, Interim Chair of the Department of Pharmacy Practice, will announce the award recipients. Dean O'Donnell will present the awards. The Renee A. Dierick Memorial Award consists of a $1,200 check and a frame certificate. The recipient of this year's award is Melissa McGowan. Milan Pharmaceutical Excellence in Pharmacy Award consists of a framed lithograph. The recipient of this year's award is Rachel Klosko. Robert M. Cooper Memorial Award consists of an apothecary jar and is presented to Melissa McGowan.
We wanted to make her go back and come back and go back and come back. Uh, the Inpatient Advanced Pharmacy Practice Experience Award consists of a plaque and is presented to Courtney Skripshek. The Outpatient Advanced Pharmacy Practice Experience Award consists of a plaque and is presented to Caitlin Scott. The Excellence in Pharmacogenomics Award consists of a $250 check and a plaque. The recipient of this year's award is Sneha Mansi. The Robert M. Gumtow Undergraduate Research Award in Pharmaceutical Sciences consists of a check and a frame certificate. The recipient of this year's award is Malhaid Reby. Hebe, I'm sorry. The Outstanding Graduating Senior Award in Pharmaceutical Sciences consists of a check and a frame certificate. The recipient of this year's award is Dominique Weeks. And the UB School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences Professionalism Award consists of a plaque and is presented to Sharir Hossein. The degrees authorized by the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the University of Buffalo will now be conferred. The candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences will now be presented. Will those candidates please rise? This degree is awarded following the completion of a four-year program with a major in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Provost Zuzkowski, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, I have the honor of recognizing these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the degree Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Thank you, Dean. Madonna. Here we go. You ready? By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York 
and the council and the faculty at the University at Buffalo, I now confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Sciences and Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. The graduates will now come forward and receive a certificate of recognition on this occasion. Pharmaceutical science graduates will be announced by Dr. Kathleen Boje, Associate Professor and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Will the graduates please come